Good morning, all. All right, the second to last of the regular season previews. We've only got four games tonight, two starting at 7 Eastern, four Pacific, one starting two and a half hours after that. I'm guessing it's TNT doubleheader, so actual puck drop will be later than that. And then a 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 Pacific start uh, in the final game in the desert. So, uh, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, this was going to be a big game. And then Washington won last night, so it doesn't mean anything now. The Islanders are locked into third place. Pittsburgh's not making the playoffs. Could this be the last game being coached by Mike Sullivan for the Pittsburgh Penguins? We'll see. Uh, so Pittsburgh's won two of the first three meetings, December 27th by a score of 7-0, December 31st by a score of 3-1, February 20th, a 5-4 overtime win for the Islanders. So for Pittsburgh, they're 38-31-12. Uh, Bunting's had a really good run with them. Be interesting to see if he sticks around for next year. 19 goals, 34 assists, 53 points. This may be Jeff Jeff Carter's last game as well. 10 games, four or 10 goals, four assists, 14 points for Carter this season. On the Islanders side, 38, 27, and 16. It's very possible they could rest a bunch of players. At that could happen because they already know where they're playing. Uh, Horvat, 33 goals, 35 assists, 68 points for him. Be nice to see him hit 70. Uh, Anders Lee has had a rough season. It's nice to see him hit 20 goals, though. 20 goals, 17 assists, 37 points. So, if you look at the chances Lee has had, he's just been very unlucky this year. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between Toronto and Tampa Bay. Uh, Toronto's won two of the first three meetings. October 21st in overtime, 4-3. Uh, November 6th, also in overtime, 6-5. to five. And then Tampa Bay won uh, April 3rd by a score of 4-1. to one. So for the Leafs, they're 46, 25, and 10. And obviously, they want Matthews to hit 70 goals. He has 69 goals, 38 assists, 107 points. His point streak was snapped last night. We'll see if he can get that 70th tonight. Uh, William Nylander, 40 goals, 57 assists, 97 points. So he needs three points for 100. Now, I suggested this last night. I'll throw it out there again today. You could always just have the, the, the situation where, where Sheldon Keefe and John Cooper get together and go, you know what? Your guy needs 100 assists. My guy needs 70 goals. Let's just call it even. So, uh, and so just that's not going to happen. But anyways, hopefully both players reach those 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 plat th those numbers. Uh, 44, 29, and 8 is the record for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Kucherov, 43 goals, 99 assists, 142 points. Uh, Hedman, 13 goals, 63 assists, 76 points. Somehow. Not getting a lot of attention when it comes to the Norris Trophy. I understand Quinn Hughes has had a great year. Hedman's been fantastic this year. So uh, this should be interesting because this potentially could be a preview of a second round matchup. Uh, 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 Pacific start between St. Louis and Dallas. Uh, St. Louis has won two of the first three. Of course, St. Louis mathematically eliminated from the playoffs in the West. Uh, Dallas won in a shootout, 2-1, October 12th. On December 16th, it was an overtime win for St. Louis, 4-3. On December 27th, St. Louis won 2-1. The Blues are 43-33-5. and five. Uh, I don't think that the Blues have anything to be overly upset about with how this season played out after the firing of Craig Berube. I think they did pretty darn well. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Butchnevich is still with this team come next season. 27 goals, 36 assists, 63 points for Butchnevich so far. And the healthy scratch issue normally doesn't affect the uh, the teams that are out of the playoffs. I wanted to mention Hofer as well. He's had a really remarkable year. 15-12-1 record, 9-14 save percentage. It does open up the potential that, you know, maybe St. Louis just keeps that as their 1-2. I, I think Hofer's got starting potential. We'll see how long it takes before he really is forcing himself into that starter's role. Uh, on the Dallas side, they're 51, 21, and 9. They have a chance to clinch home ice throughout the uh, western part of the playoffs and, and clinch first place in the west. Uh, Robertson sitting at 29 goals to go with 51 assists for 80 points. Wyatt Johnston's had a fantastic year. 32 goals, 33 assists, 65 points. He's very young. He's very talented. He's only going to get better. 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific start between Edmonton and Arizona. And... This is going to be such a bittersweet viewing experience. Um, I mean, the mullet's going to be full, and I know all the jokes are there and all that, but uh, the Oilers and, and Arizona Coyotes have split the first two meetings on February 19th, a 6-3 to three win for the Oilers, April 12th, an overtime win for Arizona. Now, it's a game that, that doesn't mean anything for the Oilers other than for, you know, McDavid adding to his 100 assists and all that. Um, the Oilers are 49-25-6 with Vancouver's win last night. They clinched first in the division. 
Edmonton already has second sewn up. McDavid, 32 goals, 100 assists, 132 points. Now, again, because Edmonton's got their spot solidified, maybe you don't even play McDavid and you rest him for the playoffs. Uh, Bouchard, 18 goals, 63 assists, 81 points. Has had a fantastic season. On the Arizona side, they're 35, 41, and 5. Clayton Keller's a star in this league. 33 goals, 42 assists, 75 points. Uh, Josh Stone, 10 games, 5 goals, 4 assists, 9 points. Uh, Doan's been really, really productive uh, in his time with the Coyotes. Uh, again, this is the likely final night for the Coyotes. So, um, all the best to them. It is very, very likely I'll be wearing Coyotes for the review, whether they win or they lose, because I will not have a chance to wear a Coyotes jersey again uh, in a review or a preview, which is sad. It, it really is. It's too bad. Um, I understand, like, why, and I agree with the why, but that's the thing. You can agree with the idea of relocating a team because it's just not working, and you can still be sad for the fans, for the, the people who are affected, the people who are put out of work by it. Um, so you can be both. You can both say that's that's fine, that's what should happen, and it's an absolute shame for the people who are negatively impacted by it. So um, the heavy lifting starts for the Coyotes today uh, once this game is done uh and and you know the reality sinks in of everything that's going on i'll be here to report on it when it does let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you have not already thank you guys so much for all your support i will talk to you again soon